Hello everyone, let's discuss today how to handle elements in Shadow Dome in Playwright. Playwright CSS and text engines pierce the Shadow Dome by default which makes it simple to locate shadow elements and you can work with them like other dome elements. However, you need to consider a few rules while working with shadow dome elements which we will discuss in this video. So this is basic architecture how shadow dome elements are linked to main dome and we call this dome as light dome and dome with shadow elements shadow dome. Shadow host the regular dome node to which shadow dome is attached. So this will become your shadow root the root node of the shadow tree and then this shadow boundary the place where the shadow dome ends and the regular dome begins. So before we start the demo let's go through some of the key points given on Playwright website which we need to consider while locating the dome elements. So first Playwright engines search for the elements in light dome in the iteration order then CSS or text engine searches recursively inside open shadow dome roots in the iteration order. In the CSS engine the descendant combinator this one the one with space is called descendant combinator and one with this greater than sign are child combinator. So any descendant or child combinator pierces an arbitrary number of open shadow roots including the implicit descendant combinator at the start of the selector. Then CSS or text engines do not search inside closed shadow roots or iframe. For iframe you can use frame locator along with techniques we will discuss here and you can opt out of default behavior and differentiate light dome elements from the shadow dome elements using this colon light CSS extension or text colon light selector engine. If you will use this technique the engine do not pierce shadow roots. Alright so let's understand this theory with help of few examples. So to practice you can visit autoprac.com forward slash selenium and then shadow dome 1 here inspect. You can see we have text here and if you will see the HTML structure open this first shadow div and this second shadow div here you will see hash shadow root open and here also this is how you will differentiate between light dome elements and shadow dome elements. If you will click on this then you will see span and then elements similarly here span and then elements. So this div with text light element is in light dome and this is the parent or shadow host or root. Similarly here we have shadow root or host and then we have elements. In shadow root 1 we have two elements with text shadow element 1-1 and shadow element 1-2 and in second shadow we have two elements shadow element 2-1 and 2-2. So consider we have five elements one with text light element is inside light dome shadow element 1-1-1-2 inside shadow dome 1 and shadow 2 1 and 2 2 inside shadow dome 2. Now if you will see this div class target 1 button 
similar selector we have here also in shadow dome one div class target one button and div class target one button and this div target two button and this div target three button these are unique so target two inside shadow dome one is unique and target three inside shadow dome two is also unique in case you are able to find a unique selector you can directly locate the element using that selector no matter if it is in shadow dome or light dome so here div with target 2 and div with target 3 are unique you can directly locate them and there will be no conflict so div with target 2 you can see we are getting 0 of 0 here chrome inspector is unable to find it but playwright will definitely find it so copy it here type await page dot locator div dot target 2 and similarly div dot target 3 and let's print text content in console execute so you can see with div dot target to shadow element one two is highlighting which is in shadow dome one and with div dot target three shadow element two two is highlighted and same values are printed in our console so it's very easy when you have unique elements you do it like any other element now let's see the case when we have same element in light dome and also in shadow dome 1 and shadow dome 2 which is this one div with class target 1 here here as well as here so if you will type div dot target 1 chrome will able to find the one which is in light dome the element with text light element but if you will use the same locator with playwright div dot target one playwright will give you error strict mode violation div dot target one resolve to three elements because this exists in shadow dome one two and light dome so again it is very easy you can use inbuilt technique of playwright here if you will use first it will point to light dome it will point to shadow dome one and last it will point to shadow dome 2 let's see here you can see with first element in light dome is highlighted with nth one shadow element one one is highlighted and with last shadow element 2 1 is highlighted and in console you can see same values are printed so this is again simple like you do in playwright when we have multiple elements with same selector again you do not have to worry about shadow elements here 
you can also differentiate between elements and make them unique by using their parent or shadow host so here you can locate div with target one using its parent and this target one using its parent so div dot first shadow and then space div dot target one this selector will find element of shadow dom one and similarly if you will use second shadow parent it will find element of second shadow so you can always attach parent to differentiate between element so just add div dot first shadow along with space here remove this method and here also remove this method and use div dot second shadow let's execute so you can see with div dot first shadow space div dot target one element with text shadow element one one is highlighted and with div dot second shadow space div dot target one shadow element two one is highlighted so you can use this selector along with parent to differentiate or you can make any other selector also all that you need to do is make your selector unique now this light dome element text which we were printing using the first method here you can use css light extension or text light selector so surround this selector with colon light bracket and close it so this is css light extension and similarly you can use text as well for example this element text is common for all the five elements let's refer element in light dom using this text and colon light selector so use text generally we will use text equal to element this will find five elements but we want element in light dom so what you can do just after text use colon and light now it will find element in light dom without using colon light it will find all the elements let's execute so here you can see colon light with div dot target one is highlighting element in light dom and even our text selector with colon light is highlighting element in light dom so using this colon light you can differentiate between shadow dom elements and light dom elements that's all thank you for watching this video